All right, today we're gonna to go through how to use Azimuth for a cell type annotation. Let's first go to azimuth.hubmapconsortium.org and you're gonna find a lot of samples. For example, the human PBMC peripheral blood, human motor cortex, mouse motor cortex. We're gonna use the human pancreas for an example. So we can go to human pancreas, we can click learn more. This is the human pancreas, we can go to the nodal and download the reference data. There are two files, one is idx.annoy file and the reference rds file, you're gonna click download uh, to get these two files. After finish downloading, you can put them in any folder that you prefer. And together with these two reference file, we also have the data files over here, which is just standard barcode feature in the matrix file for any kind of data. Uh, this is come from the 10X genomics. So you can get the data and these two references. All right, now let's go to Surat for the cell type annotation. To do cell type annotation, we're gonna need packages. One is uh, library, Azimus. Azimus installation could be tedious, so I've made another video tell, detailing how to install Azimus, uh, including R tools and its other dependencies. And also we're gonna use a Surat. Let's load these two packages. We're gonna load our data over here. Example.data, we're gonna read uh, read 10x and provide the folder names over here and change everything to backslash and then we're gonna convert the data to a Surat object we're gonna first define the counts the counts gonna equal to the sample dot data name the project uh, test Azimus brand this one uh, create a Surat object after doing this, we're going to go through the standard pre-processing, which is going to be the sample, the data, uh, normalization, and find uh, variable features, uh, scale data, normalize it, find variable, scale data, run the PCA, find neighbors, find clusters, run the UMAP. After doing this pre-processing, we can use dimensional plot and show the data. It's the sample one dot data. Deduction will be, uh, you know, Azimus, Azimus uh, UMAP, because that's the that's the data we want to show. This is the Azimus UMAP, okay? And the group by is the original identity, which is here will be uh, test Azimus, right? That's our project name. All right, this is one what shows up here. To use Azimus is just a one line of code. We're gonna see a, a simple one dot data, gonna run Azimus. And the, the data we use is the sample one data. And the references will be the directory we have over here. The reference will be the a folder name including IDX annoy and the reference RDS. We can put them in the uh, as a reference folder. Let's put this to in this folder. If you click it, you'll see these two files, annoy and the RDS file. Copy this directory and put it over here. And it will becomes our uh, reference data. Let's change it to backslash, All right, run the code. All right, after you finish this one, you can check your uh, metadata. In the metadata, you will see there is, uh, this is the test Azimus cluster, which is a numeric number. Together with it, there will be the predict annotation L1. For example, here is the beta cell, ductal cell, a senior cell, immune cell. The, together with it, we'll have the annotation score as well. We're gonna visualize the data using the predicted cell types. Use dimensional plot, sample one dot data, and reduction is still the UMAP, uh, Azimus uh, UMAP. However, the group by will be a different. The group by will be uh, predicted. It's over here, predict annotation uh, L1. We're gonna visualize the data and you'll see this is the senior cells, activate cells cell over here. There are some beta cells, ductal cells, immune cells. Great, this is how you use a 